Hey, I'm Courtney Harder with Case IH. In this video, we are going to talk about preseason checks for the VSET 2 meter on a 2000 series early riser planner. Um, so with the preseason checks, basically we are looking for maintenance items, um, parts that need replaced on our VSET 2 meter. So once we've taken this meter off, um, off of our row unit, um, we're gonna open up that meter um, with, our, with our two retention clips. The, this is also a good time to check that, um, that these retention clips are adequately, uh, adequately holding this meter housing on and it's not going to, uh, not gonna split open those meters while you're in the field. So um, checking that those are, are holding our meter covers together, um, we can open up our meter covers then. So on the vacuum side of our meter cover, the first thing that we are going to look at is our seed disc and the wear on that. Key maintenance items on the seed disc are, uh, first of all, we want, to, um, we want to first check that the cells have maintained their shape um, and aren't going to, uh, haven't, haven't egged out. The other thing we want to look at with our cells is that they are still raised and still have a flat top to those cells uh, because these raised flat cells do provide agitation. Um, so if, uh, if we are lacking, if we feel that we're lacking agitation um, in, our, in our seed meter, that's a good thing to look at is are these cells still raised? So those are the, the things that you want to check on, um, on the cells of the seed meter prior to each season. Um, other things that we want to look at is the drive teeth along the outside of the disc. We want to check to make sure there's no excessive wear in those drive teeth. And another good check to make is that uh, when you install that seed disc, just line it up with, um, with the, the V-drive drive teeth as well and make sure, there is, uh, make sure there's plenty of contact between, uh, between the, the drive teeth of the disc and of the V-drive motor. Um, lastly, we want to check the disc for warping. There are no special storage um, requirements for the VSET disc. Um, they're just uh, typically stored in a toolbox, um, stacked on top of each other. But it is still a good, um, um, a good practice to, uh, before each season, check it for, um, check it for warping. Another note to make uh, while we're on that topic is. Um, you don't necessarily have to number the components of your meters. Um, for example, I pulled off meter number one. I don't necessarily have to label my seed disc, um, don't have to label my ejector wheel or my singulator um, to row unit number one, but it is a good practice if you choose to do that. Um, next thing we're gonna look at is the vacuum seal inside the VSET 2 meter. So this vacuum seal can actually tear completely out of this meter. And um, once we've got it torn out, we're just going to um, kind of pull it apart a little bit, look for any tears in that vacuum seal that could be affecting the pressure, um, the vacuum pressure on our seed disc. So um, once, we've, uh, once we've inspected that, we'll move on to our ejector wheel. So a few things to look at with the ejector wheel are, first of all, um, do we have adequate spring pressure? So the spring underneath that ejector wheel, do we need to replace that? Is it going to make good contact with our seed disc? And um, a, a good check to make there is that when you install the seed disc over the ejector wheel, just line up, um, press on that seed disc and line the nubs of the ejector wheel, line those up with the cells of the disc to make sure that they adequately um, adequately punch out, can punch out any debris or anything in, um, in the cells of those seed discs. So that is, um, that's the check that we want to do for, um, for wear on that ejector wheel. Um, now moving to the other cover of our meter. Over here we've got, um, for, for wear components, we've got our singulator and we've got brushes. So our singulator, basically what we're looking for here is flat spots worn in these lobes. Um, so if we've, uh, you can see, we've got quite a bit of a, uh, of a fin shape to each of these lobes. By the time you start to see quite a bit of a flat spot in any of these lobes, that's, uh, that's a sign that it's not gonna properly, uh, not gonna properly cover each cell and, and properly singulate 
um, those seeds. So once we've checked that out, uh, the next thing we're going to look at is our, uh, is our brushes. So um, basically the job of these brushes is to hold seed um, in the seed pool and keep it out of that, um, of that gravity drop seed tube area or the speed tube area. So what we're looking for here is, uh, is are our bristles matted up with, with seed treatment? Um, are, can they, are, they, are they free moving? And um, if, if they are frayed so much that they're, that they're catching product in them, uh, or catching seed in them, that's a good time to replace it. Or if they're matted up to the point that they can't properly, um, they can't properly brush anything away, that's a good time to replace those brushes. Um, other than that, with both of your uh, with both of your meter housings, it's always good practice um, before each season to blow the meter housings out with compressed air and clean them out with soap and water as well. Um, for any further information, consult your operator's manual or contact your local Case IH dealer.